Hi everyone, my name is Brandon from Basic Wisdom, and today we're going to answer the age-old question, what is a bond? Thank you for coming to another one of our Basic Wisdom videos. Uh, today we're going to focus specifically on a concept, or maybe better stated, a question. What is a bond? Whether you're preparing for a financial test or just trying to increase your knowledge in this space, bonds are a big part of finance. In fact, if you look at the numbers, you'll slowly start to realize that bonds kind of run the financial world. When I first got started in, in finance, I, I thought finance was all trading stocks and I had heard of options before and currencies. And, you know, all the other sexy type things that you can invest in. And as you can see, bonds are a huge part of the market. You probably have heard of the word bond before. And you've probably heard of like savings bond or a government bond. You might not know how they work. And that's the whole point of this video today. We're going to talk about what a bond is and how it actually works. One of the first things you probably learned in the material you're reading is that a bond is a security. A security is just financial lingo for an investment. If I'm buying something and I expect to get a return off of that thing, it's most likely an investment and it's most likely a security. A bond is a security. So when you see the word security, just think investment. Before we talk about what a bond actually is, I, I think it's super easy to think of a bond from the perspective of something that we all know. Let's say you borrow money to buy your first home. So you're gonna go to the bank and you're gonna fill out a ton of paperwork. And that paperwork is for the bank to determine what kind of risk they take on by lending you that money. Now remember, they're, they're not gonna lend money to just anyone. They have to consider the fact that if they lend money to someone who has a bad credit history, that they might not see all their money back. And that's all a big risk to the bank. So the bank is not gonna lend to just anyone. And in fact, if you have a bad credit history, you're probably gonna pay an interest rate way higher than average because of the risk that you pose to the bank. Now, once you get through all those steps, then the bank will lend you money, you buy the house, and you'll pay them back over time with interest. The interest the bank gets back is considered their return. Now, what I just explained is a basic home loan, and I think that most, if not all of you, already understand that. If you understand a home loan, then you understand what a bond is. A bond is basically the same exact thing, except we have to flip the relationship of the two parties involved. A bank or just any institution out there might be in need of money whether they're expanding operations or building new facility or doing whatever. Some are more aggressive than others when they borrow. And when they do, they typically go to the investing public to borrow that money. So we have to ask ourselves, how does this actually work? Well, that's where a bond comes into play. So let's go back to the investor's point of view. Let's say that I'm looking for an investment that will provide me a fixed level of income for the next 20 years and I look in the newspaper and I see that Tesla is selling 20-year bonds. I read a little bit further into it and they're selling 20-year bonds in $1,000 chunks at a rate of 5%. So I'm gonna do my research and figure out, you know, wh what's the risk if I buy this bond from Tesla? Now, the Tesla bond we looked at is not gonna present a ton of risk to us, but keep in mind that not every bond is created equal. And if a company that is having financial troubles tries to issue a bond and it's more risky for the investor, we can expect a much higher rate of interest. Remember that higher interest rates compensate risk. If I'm taking out more risk as the bondholder, I should get paid more for that risk. Just like with the bank. If the bank is taking out more risk if they give you a home loan, they're gonna charge you more when you borrow that money from them. After that research, I feel comfortable with the amount of risk that I'm taking on, and I buy a bond from Tesla. I give Tesla $1,000, in return they give me a bond. That bond will then pay me interest for the next 20 years. And because the interest rate is based upon the original purchase price, or what we sometimes in finance refer to as par, $1,000 multiplied times 5% is 50 bucks. That means that this bond will pay me $50 every single year for the next 20 years. 
Technically, I won't always hold the bond for 20 years. In fact, there's a number of things that could happen that could end the bond, whether if that results in me trading the bond to someone else, or the bond being called, or me putting the bond back to the issuer. Those are all things that I'll cover in other videos on the Basic Wisdom channel. But let's say that we hold the bond for 20 years. So every year we're getting 50 bucks from the issuer, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. And then at the very end, at the end of our 20 year mark, the issuer, being Tesla, is going to pay me one final interest payment and then give me my entire principal back. And that's exactly what a bond is. So in conclusion, a bond is just a loan, but what's weird is that we, the investing public, are in the lender's seat. We're not used to lending money to banks or to governments, but this is actually what's happening, and we do that through bonds. Thank you once again for coming to the Basic Wisdom channel. Check out our other videos and please subscribe to the channel if you're going through any of these tests or trying to just bolster your financial knowledge. We also have a website which is basicwisdom.net and I'm pretty sure to the left of me, we have a couple links that you can click on to get to that information. Thank you once again and I'll see you next time.